What's up everyone and welcome to our tutorial on running a project. Here we're going to create an index.js file and then we're actually going to run the project to be able to explore how easy it is with next.js. So how do we go about running a project? We first start by obviously setting the project up. We've completed that part at this point. We're then going to create that index.js file put some code that outputs HTML to a page, and then we'll use the terminal or the command prompts to run one command which will get things up and running. At least this will run it locally, it won't actually run on the server, but we'll be able to um, simulate a client-server relationship. So the steps for this tutorial are going to be to set up our index.js file, we'll create it, put it in pages, and put in the necessary code. We'll then run the project again through command prompt or terminal. And then we'll examine the output in a browser, and we'll also get a chance to explore the hot reload feature. So let's head on back to our terminal or command prompt. Again, this is what our project looks like right now. It's got these four items in it. We're going to go right into pages if we're not there already. As you can see, I am. That's where we ended last time. And we're going to go ahead and create an index.js file. So this is easier, I think, through the text editor itself. I'm just going to go up here create a new file and I'm going to save this right away as index.js so make sure you have the .js extension which will automatically make it a JavaScript file. We we'll want to put this in pages not node modules. So let's give that a save. We can see that this is JavaScript index.js and we're going to just put a few lines of code in here. So the way that this works is we create these constants which will output some kind of HTML and then we run them by exporting them. So we'll create a constant called index. We're going to set this equal to some closure which is going to output this code. Oh, actually this shouldn't be curly braces. I think this is just supposed to be regular braces like this. Okay, and let's just give ourselves some room there. So from here we're going to I guess create a div and this div, div is just going to contain some hello world text or something. So just put that on a couple of lines. And within this let's just create a paragraph like so. It's just going to say our classic hello world like this. Alright so now we've got index set up we need to export it. We'll just export the default value of index like so. We can give this a save and we're ready to run it. So if you're not familiar with this syntax, we're basically just creating this constant index. This constant index holds this functionality, which is basically just a way to output this to the screen. In short, all this will do is display this HTML text, and then exporting it actually runs the constant. So we'll again, give that a save. We'll now go to our command prompt, or terminal. We're going to run the command npm run dev. Actually, let's um, navigate out of pages. I mean, we sh it shouldn't really matter too much, but let's just make sure we're in the main project route. And then we're going to do again npm run dev like so. Okay, and that will start up our project. So as you can see, it's saying ready on HTTP localhost 3000. That's how we're going to be running things. The client and the server are successfully compiled. And you can see that's again done in this many seconds. It's super fast and at that time. So now at this point it should be up and running. We simply need to open up a browser, navigate to localhost 3000, and we can see that's up and running. So that's really cool stuff. It's just that easy. Again, this isn't published to an actual server or anything. This is just kind of running a client and server locally on our systems. But we now know how to build and run a next.js project. So I said also we'd get a chance to um, showcase the hot reload feature. What this does is essentially compiles and re-outputs everything in the project without having to stop running it and completely reload it. Okay, so this is one of the latest things I've noticed with some of the latest frameworks. They're really focusing on this idea of hot reloading which allows us to make changes and see them really really quickly. Because kind of stopping the project, compile it, compiling it and then rerunning it is kind of a slow process. So let's say for example we go back to our code editor. Let's say we want to say hello world and everyone else. Okay, Watch that nothing's changed but as soon as I save this so I'm just going to do command s or else you can go file save. Okay, This hot reloads it. 
we can see that on our web page we see the change instantly and we can also see in terminal that we have recompiled the client and the server so remember it ended up here okay we have to recompile it client recompile the server and as you can see it's done again down there okay so that's the great thing about hot reloading is it happens almost instantly again let's just quickly delete this okay we'll make sure that we'll navigate right back there so we'll give it a save and you can see that it's almost instantaneous so that's fantastic stuff all right so that's it for this tutorial now that you know how to build and run projects we'll be able to explore the different components of next.js in greater detail all right so thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one